So you want to save money on your heating, but want to keep warm. You get some hot water bottles. What now? So welcome to Blue Garden Cottage. Lovely to have you along with us again today. As you can see, we're dealing with hot water bottles and their safe use. They're not always simple, but they don't always tell you on the instructions. But I am going to share a few of my experiences with hot water bottles and how to use them safely. So, excuse the knives in the background. That is, as we're talking about safety today in the home with a couple of things, you know, particularly hot water bottles, but I just thought I'd mention the kitchen knives and scissors and all things sharp are kept up there on a magnet on the cupboard door out of reach of young children. So no nasty accidents there. Okay, hot water bottles, let's get back to the topic. Now when you buy a hot water bottle, the, the wrapping, the plastic wrapping that it usually comes in, has instructions on how to use a hot water bottle safely. Um, so there are there might be a few people who might not be able to read, and it's all in words. There's no visual um, information on the packaging, and it also doesn't have any specific instruction on how to fill the bottle safely without burning your hands. So I'll cover that in a minute. But the first and most important instructions that it mentions on the packaging is to double check that your hot water bottles are not tarnished. There are no cracks, there are no holes. Um, so this is an example of a very old hot water bottle. It's not so soft and pliable anymore. It does feel hard. There aren't any cracks. However, I can feel, I mean, this is hard. I can feel that this is, is not gonna last very long. Also, on the cap. This is still a good cap, it must have been when I replaced the old one. The seal is still good, it's not gone hard and dry, it's not cracked and it's not breaking up and rubber will eventually corrode and break up. So this hot water bottle, it says on there made of natural rubber, but this hot water bottle is going to have to go in a more environmentally um, considerate way because they can't be recycled really. So what I could do with this to make it last just a little bit longer is um, with well, that hole in there makes it really handy and I'm going to use this as a plant hanger. I will show you another time how to recycle this hot water bottle. That'll be another video for another day. But for now, this one, all you need to know is no good. There aren't any cracks on it, like I said, but it is old. The rubber is hardening very much so, and it is about... I, I wouldn't chance using this because it could crack and spring a leak at any time. So that is going to be recycled. I have two other hot water bottles, old ones. The rubber is already tarnished on them and stained from years of use and it won't come clean because it's rubber, it's absorbed. But there are no cracks, there are no holes, it's still soft and pliable and you know that it's still safe because it's not corroded anywhere around either the inside or this or there. I do have brand new caps for them though because they're worth replacing regularly because the little rubber does corrode. Like on this one, this is a very old hot water bottle. This has lasted a very long time. This too is not cracked, no holes, no corrosion. However, if you can see here, can you see that? I can just put, there you go. That is how dangerous an old hot water bottle can be. There were no cracks. No holes, but it was soft and thin. And all I did was stick my finger through there. And if that was full of hot water, you would be scalded. And um, there are, as I'm not sure of the statistics and numbers, but I have read that there is a lot of accident and emergency appointments where people have burnt themselves because of hot water bottles. And this I wouldn't even be able to replace because it's much smaller than the standard now. So that shows how old it is. And this shows you just how it can corrode on the end. So even if it hadn't broken there, this could have broken 
and sprung a leak. Hot water bottles, if not used properly and not looked after, can be very dangerous. This was handy because it has a hold over the string so I could keep the cap. You always lose caps with hot water bottles, so it's good to keep them in a specific place because, of course, you never store a hot water bottle when not in use with water in it. You always leave it empty, drain it out and store it that way. Um, so that this is also no good. So there's two hot water bottles down. This one will also become a plant hanger. A handy hole at the bottom on this one so I can have a string to drain it out when it's not when it's emptied. And then I can store it. So these two are now going to be plant hangers. Um, this is a more a newer one, but this is still perfectly fine. I'm thinking I'm going to get at least another year's use, another winter's use out of this one. So that's going to be fine. All good and all well inside. So this is good to go. And this is a brand new one I've just bought. Doesn't have a hole on the bottom like the other for me to hang it and drip it out. So I shall have to find a way, maybe stick it on a, a wooden spoon handle in a jug or something to drain out and drip dry. I have put a string on the neck so that I, I'll show you what that's for in a moment. Um, it's a brand new one, cap, brand new one, ready for this one. And it's a new tight fit, it's a standard fitting, so you'll be able to replace the lid at any time. Okay, right, now. I have boiled the kettle and I've let it sit for five to ten minutes just to cool down so it's not boiling hot. The advice on the packaging is not to use tap water straight from the tap, even hot tap water, because of the chlorine in the water that will also corrode the rubber. So what I've done is I've boiled the tap water because I'm not using filtered water to fill my hot water bottles. That is very expensive. Um, so I've boiled the kettle, I've let it stand with the lid open for it to off gas, so to speak, so that the, the chemicals, the chlorine that would have been in the water can come out with the steam and it would make it just slightly less corrosive to the hot water bottle. But I'm afraid tap water will do that anyway over time. You're just going to have to get used to throwing away hot water bottles. There are alternatives that you can use to keep warm, especially if you're warm in your bed. Right, we've got this at an angle so you can see easier. This is the string I've put on. You want a really good sturdy string. Unfortunately, all I had was jute, so I've made it four threads um, thick. And this I'm using to hang on the tap like so and I've put it at an angle so it can be safer and not slide off It'd be handy if you could get a banana hanger or um, I have actually seen somewhere I cannot remember where um, a stand specifically made for filling hot water bottles safely I will see if I can find something like that and if I can I will put a link in the description box below Right, oh, let me move this before it falls off. There you go. Right, okay, so the hot water bottle has been cooling a little bit. We don't, we don't want to use boiling water just as the kettle boiled, I think. So I've, after the kettle is boiled, I've added, even though it stood for about five minutes, I still think it's too hot. So I've added in some cold water. I want it just um, hotter than your hands could handle it because it needs to radiate through the hot water bottle and a cover you might put on it to protect either your skin or furnishings or wherever you're going to put the hot water bottle. So it's not boiling, it's not warm, it's in between warm and, and scalding, but not burning. I mean, yeah, I can't even put my hands in there, not for long. Okay, don't do that at home. 
So I'm going to fill it carefully. As you can see, the string is there to stop me holding it and spilling over the sides and burning my hands. They don't tell you that on the instructions. Right, I'm going to fill it. Fill in nicely. Right, it's starting to expand now with the water volume. Now this is very important, this very next step. Right, please, please, please do this always, okay? I'm going to take this off there. Now, the instructions on the pack tell you to empty it to two-thirds full. So take out a third of the bottle over the sink, squeeze the hot water bottle to a third over, right? Now, it's important because I'll tell you why in a second. Squeeze out what air there is and put the lid back in. Squeeze out the air, put in the lid tightly, right? Dry it off because we now need to test that it's not leaking anywhere. So we can see that it's not leaking anywhere. There's, I've dried the inside. It's not dripping, so I've tightened it properly. Okay, now the reason you only fill it two thirds full and empty it out and then squash out the air, I mean, you obviously might already know this but the hot water as it cools will produce a gas will fill the bottle even more and that could make it possible for the lid to spring a leak under the pressure it's like a hot it's like um like a pressure cooker really so that could increase the burns and scalds risk of leaking hot water bottles and damage the hot water bottle as well so this is now safe to use it is very warm, but even, but it's not scalding. So even though it's very warm, it can still cause burns on your skin if you leave it on your skin for a period of time. So you still want to put it in a hot water bottle cover. You can buy those. They can be quite dear. Some hot water bottles come with them already on, but I do not like them because I tried a few last week before buying the new one. And you can't take the cover off. It just doesn't stretch wide enough to take it off so that you could inspect the bottle properly and wash the cover separately. So it's best to either buy one you can remove, make your own, or, or you could wrap it. Let's remove this. You could wrap it in a towel. If it's slightly warmer than this, that would be better. And that would protect your skin from being burnt. It'll warm up eventually. Maybe you want it a little warmer than that. But then you're risking corroding the rubber more. But it can be warmer. And then this can be kept on the skin to warm you up on your back or wherever you need. Or your belly. Or just cuddling or hugging the hot water bottle to stay warm in the cold. Just to save of needing to use the heating a bit longer. Okay, so that's how to use the hot water bottle safely. You can use this when you're trying to save on using the heating to warm your bed at night before going to bed. So you could use it without the towel. It'd be perfectly safe as long as it's not dripping and there's no leaks. You can stick it just like that in between the sheets to warm your bed before you get in at night, especially by your feet. We could easily have four hot water bottles in the bed just to warm shoulders and feet at the same time. And then, of course, we don't sleep with the hot water bottles in the bed. We'll put them aside and then they get cold. Time to empty it and store it. I'm going to empty the hot water bottle because we've used it. We're nice and warm and cozy. Of course, better always to wait till it's cold before opening it as well because the steam might come out and burn you. Empty it out. Like I said, the old ones had a hole in the bottom. 
where you could just hang a string in there and hang it up to dry. I do not in this one, so I've got that there. I've got the, I've got the wooden spoon. It could just prop up against your windowsill like that to drip dry. And there you go. Drip drying properly. I can store it and it'll last a bit longer. So I hope that's been helpful. I hope that you have a warm winter. You can get hold of hot water bottles. You can use them safely and reduce your heating bills a little bit more just in one small way that'll help towards your own winter preparations. So there you go, people. Follow the instructions on the pack and add a little more common sense and think safety. Of course, for children, it's always best to make sure that the bottles are definitely safe, covered in a fabric and never used for prolonged periods of time and always use supervised. Keep sharp objects away from them, obviously. OK, so I am just going on the manufacturer's instructions on the packet. If you have an issue with that, please contact them, whoever they may be. Have a wonderful warm week ahead. As for us in the Northern Hemisphere, we're heading for winter. We're well into autumn. So may you have a very safe, happy, cozy hot water bottle winter. And I'll speak to you next week with some autumn gardening. Bye bye.